This here is the outcome of a wig unit that I made for a friend. She sent me a picture and I duplicated the color. Okay, so this wig unit started off as a 613 and what we're gonna do first is we're going to protect the knots. I'm gonna be using got to be gel. I'm gonna be using quite a bit along the front of the hairline because that is the main portion that I wanna protect. I'm gonna use the got to be spray, you know, in the other areas. This could take about an hour or so to dry because I put on quite a bit. Okay, so now that it's ready, I'm gonna separate it because when I start this color, I only want to color the roots very, very dark. And I'm gonna start with the roots first when doing this watercolor. So basically, I'm separating the hair according to how I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna have the root area darker, as I explained, the portion in the front. I'm gonna have that root a little shorter. So if you notice, I'm making that rubber band a little closer to the root. So this will give me the effect that I'm trying to achieve, getting it as close as possible to the picture that was sent to me. Okay, so I made a few adjustments. I'm gonna go in with my piping hot water. I'm using this uh, Vivids by Pravana. It is a purple. And I'm going to use my cap to open up my tube. I'm gonna put a few drops in there now. You can test this, take a couple strands and you can test it to make sure it's the color that you want. Now I have it separated. I'm gonna dip that the part that's closer to my root i'm going to dip that in first because remember i wanted that to be a little darker when i'm doing the watercolor i don't usually allow it to sit that long especially if the color is really really dark so i may only let this sit maybe three to four minutes not very long because it will be ready you know pretty fast and that's why you see a lot of people doing the watercolor because it is so easy to do all right so this was my result of doing my root i have a dark purple root and my knots were very well protected now I'm going to go in with this magenta. Okay, so I'm going to do a separate watercolor for the ends using the magenta. And I'm going to make sure I saturate it really well. I don't want to leave any areas where it's lighter um, on the ends. I'm wanting to have all of this, this hot pink magenta. All right, so now this is our end result. I have a uh, three-dimensional. I have the root a very dark purple. It comes out to a lighter purple than a dark, hot pink or magenta. And I'm very, very close to the picture, except for they did do a little bit of highlights on there. Now, here is the lace. Just making sure you get a good look at it. It is not stained. Okay, so I did go ahead and put some big curls in off camera and I pinned it and let it sit. And so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to comb and style the unit out. I will not be putting this unit on guys, but I am going to style it. And this was just to give you some ideas on things that you can do. You know, when you're trying to copy a look, if you're using watercolor, how to make it go fast, how to get the roots darker doing watercolor and get the ends light. This is just pretty much me showing you how I do what I do.
Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on watercoloring. Make sure you subscribe below.